Hey folks, I'm Lucas from Roll to Hit Gaming, and today we're going to solo play Cold Water Crown from publisher Bellwether Games. Now I'm going to assume that you're familiar with Cold Water Crown. If you need to, uh, if you need to look at what this game's all about, check the eye in the upper right corner of your screen for our first look video. And first, I'll explain how the solo game differs. So for a solo game, you set the game up exactly as you would for a two-player game. However, the first thing that's different is going to be the bait bag. We're going to put nine of each color in there, and then we're going to start by dealing seven of them over here into our smaller screen. And this is the common discard pile. And I've organized them by color, and you'll see why that's important here in just a few minutes. The silent player, which we've named Gilligan for our game here, starts with the five point small species challenge uh, trophy. So we kind of start behind the game a little bit. We'll go ahead and start playing and I'll explain the differences in solo play as we go. The human player gets to go first. So you play just like you would any other turn in Cold Water Crown. So I'll place my one here on the black and cast our black piece of bait into the discard pile. Remember, a one lets us remove one piece from each zone on our player board. Uh, then we'll take one, and I'll take the yellow, which flips it to a two, but it was a one, so I get to remove one yellow from each zone on my player board, and we'll add these here to the discard pile. Those are my two actions. I flipped my token, and now play moves to Gilligan, and the first thing you'll do is reach in your draw bag and you'll pull out one gem. Since we got a red, that tells us to look at the red space. If it has an angler token, that angler token simply moves one space clockwise. And there's a little chart I'll put up on the screen so you can see. And, and it shows you in what order the tokens move. Then you discard your red piece of bait. And you check whether you have three, four, five, or six of that color. He doesn't, so he moves on. Now, at the beginning of Gilligan's turn, we're going to check to see whether he's got more fish than we do. If he does, then he only gets one draw. If he's tied or we have more fish, he gets a second draw. So let's do that now. And this gives us a green. Again, we have an angler token on our green space. So it's going to move one space forward. And that's the first green, so no catch there. That is the dummy player's turn, and then it comes back to us. And I'm going to take this two here and place it on purple so that we can get rid of all the purple bait on our player board. Put them over here in the discard pile. It clears zone four in the purple location, so we'll catch this mackerel. And we'll check for poundage. It's five, so we don't get the mystery weight token. And so we'll set those up there so that we can see them. Now the dummy player is eligible for every token on the board, every trophy token. Um, he's eligible to win. So if he were to get eight species before us, he'll take the eight species challenge. If he collects uh, three master anglers of the same kind, uh, he'll get that challenge token and so on. So now I've kind of set myself up to where there's not anything on the green and pulling a token is not going to do me a ton of good, so I'm going to pull this one just so I can flip it to a two and have it for the next turn. And we'll reach into the bag for Gilligan and we pull a blue, which moves the blue angler token forward a space. And that's two blue bait, so no catch there. And I have more fish, so he's going to get to draw a second, which is going to be a black. Now, there's not an angler token on the black space, so we'll work ourselves backward on that same chart we saw before, and that token will move to the black space. So simply do that. That is four black bait in the discard pile. So he'll catch the fish in the color location matching the number zone. So that'll be this rainbow here in zone four. And we'll flip that over. It is a five pounder. And I'll put his starting fish over here in our small screen. All right, back to us. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab this port space before it gets filled up. And I'm going to uh, refill zone four. And 
and take a dogfish master angler card and I'll put these down here uh, so that you can see the progress we make on that. We'll refill this and I'll refill the empty zones on the board. I'm a little terrible at that so I'll try to keep up. And now I need to take a token and I'll go ahead and take this red to flip it to a two and discard this piece of bait here. We'll pull for Gilligan and he pulls a red. Uh, there's not an angler token on red so we're going to walk backwards and purple goes to green according to our chart um, but this is there wasn't a token here which means it's going to jump all the way to red. So you can see the moving of the tokens kind of simulates where other players might be and, and gets in your way a bit. So discard the red, that's three, so he'll catch the fish in zone three, which will be this uh, five pound sea trout and set this right over here. The uh, W player was tied with us at the beginning of the turn, so they do get a second, which is going to be blue. And that'll move our port space token here to the blue. Let's refill this zone. Um, and then we'll discard the blue. And again, that's three, so he will catch the pike here in zone three. And that's going to be a 13 pound pike. We'll put this over here. And that makes it our turn. So I'm going to cast my two on green, which lets me remove all green from my player board. And that is going to give me two to put on my Master Angler card. We'll discard the other one. But that clears zone three for us. Uh, zone three for green is a flounder. And we'll flip that up five pounds, no mystery weight. And put that right over here. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and pull black. Flip it to a two. And cast off this black here. So that's going to clear zone four for us. And catch us this rainbow this eight pounder so set it over here and that makes it Gilligan's turn let's refill our board we are tied for number of fish so you'll get two pulls this turn and that's going to be a blue there is one on the blue, so we'll move to the next available space, and we'll skip occupied spaces. And discard that. So blue zone four is going to catch this pike. And nine pounder. And we'll just kind of group like fish over here together. The second pool is another blue. Refill our zone here. Blue's now vacant, so we'll backtrack and move the closest token to it. And that is going to be five blue, so he'll catch the fish in zone five. Another pike, they're all pike out there right now. And that's going to be a 17 pound pike. That's a big one. We'll refill our board. And it'll be our turn. So obviously we've got to grab some bait. I'm gonna fill up zones four and five. And there's four. One, two, three, four, five. And then I'm going to pull the red. And that'll get rid of, it was a two, so that will get rid of all the red on our player board over here into the discard pile. Now Gilligan has more fish than we do, and this doesn't count Master Angler fish, it's, it's just the normal catches. So he's going to get one pull from the bag, and it's going to be a black. No token on black, so the closest moves to it. And that is our sixth black, so he'll catch the brown here in zone six of the black location. And that's an 11 pounder. So put that over there. And play moves back to us. I'm going to go ahead and cash in my uh, 
my lure here. And that lets us get rid of two of the same colored bait from anywhere on our player board. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of these yellows. Um, and then I'm going to place our one on purple. And that will clear our purple away. It will also clear zone 5, which has us catch this flounder, which is a 4-pounder. And it gets us another tackle token, which is another lure. And then I'm going to pull... I forgot, I can add that purple to my dogfish, which I definitely want to do. And then I'm going to pull the two from the port, so I get two port actions. I'm going to fill up zone 5. And then I'm going to go ahead and grab this crab, another master angler fish, and we'll refill that. Gilligan's still got more fish than we do, so he gets one pull from the bag. And it is purple. So that'll move purple forward one space. We'll refill that zone. And then that's our sixth purple. So he'll catch the zone six purple fish, this Rassi. And we'll check the weight. It is not a mystery weight match. And then we'll place that right over there. We'll replace that. Replace that. And we'll see where we want to place. Start here with yellow. And that'll let us do one from each zone on our board. And then we'll pull green. And that'll flip to a two. But the one lets us do one bait from each zone. So it'll give us two greens that we take off our player board. And then perhaps it's a mistake, but I'm going to go ahead and cast this next lure in to get rid of two same colored pieces of bait from my player board and take these two blues out. We'll draw one for Gilligan since he has more fish than we do and that gives us a blue. So we move the blue angler token forward, place this over here, but now this is more than six. It has to be exactly three, four, five, or six to make a catch. So that doesn't result in a catch and that brings us back to our turn. I'm going to go ahead and load up here uh, and try to fill up zone three. Gives us something to work with. Uh, and then uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and take this ray just so that we've got some master angler fish to put our tokens on. That was a better ray there. Wish I'd gotten that one. Um, and then we will pull the red, get rid of one red from each location on our player board. And that's going to bring it back to Gilligan's turn. He's still got more fish than we do. So pulls a yellow, which is going to move yellow to the next available space. So it's going to skip the occupied spaces. And then remember our little chart, purple is going to come before green. And that is the eighth yellow, so no catch. Go ahead and use this on green here. And get rid of one of these. And then I'm going to take black. And that'll cast our last piece of bait in zone four. So we'll catch this brown uh, 14 pounder. So no mystery weight. Line that up there. And that will make it uh, Gilligan's turn. So we've got to be getting close to our, yep, our clear, uh, clear white bait. And that's a little bit of a change for the solo player game too. When we draw the white bait, the first thing we do is take the top master angler challenge card and we put this right over into his score area. He doesn't have to uh, fill it up with bait because he doesn't have a player board. That's just one victory point for him at the end of the game. Then we take all of our discarded bait and we're going to put it right back in the bag. Oops, that one got away. We'll give that a shake. And then now we've got an option. We can either give him another Master Angler Challenge card, which is just a point, or we can fill up 
seven more into the discard pile to kind of seed that again. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take a gamble and give him a point so that we can have a fresh, uh, fresh discard pile. Um, then we put the crystal back in the bag. And then you resume play wherever you were. I, I try to finish the action that we were on just so that we don't get confused, um, which is going to be drawing uh, his color. And that gives Gilligan a yellow. Uh, there's nothing on yellow, so that's going to move us all the way back to green, and that'll move right there. We'll refill that space, and that'll start a new discard pile here. So that makes it our turn. We'll go ahead and load up on blue here. Cast this piece of blue bait, emptying zone three. So we will catch the 15 pound pike that was there. And then we'll take this too, so that we can fill up two zones on our player board. And we'll do four, one, two, three, four and we'll do three pretty good draw refill the spaces on our board and it'll be gilligan's turn who still has more fish than we do so we'll get one draw which is green and we'll walk backwards so that'll move that to green discard the green for no catch so let's go ahead and place on red with our one, get rid of one red bait from each zone on our board. Um, and then we'll take yellow. That'll flip to a two, but the one will let us get one zone cleared, and that's going to clear zone five up there. So yellow zone five uh, gets us another rainbow. Uh, at four pounds. And we've got one of those. I'll set that there. Uh, it's also going to get us a tackle token. And now we've got a rod. And we'll refill that location. And that's going to move to Gilligan. Now we're tied on fish, so Gilligan gets two draws this turn. So the first is red. It's going to move red forward one. And that's the third red, so he'll catch this pike in zone three, five pounder, and he's his fourth pike, uh, which is a little crazy. And then the second pool is going to be blue, and that'll move blue forward. Let's refill that zone. And that's the second blue, so uh, no catch there. And we'll go ahead and place on this port space. And I'm going to go ahead and fill up five and six now. Five. And one, two, three, four, five, six. And then let's see where we take from. Uh, let's go ahead and take from red. And one red bait from each zone. Uh, Gilligan's ahead of us on fish again, so only one draw this turn, and that is purple. And we move backwards, so that'll move this one to purple. And then we'll discard that, only one purple, so no catch. And we're going to place our two here on black. And cast all the black from our player board, which is going to clear zone three. And that'll give us this roach. Uh, two and a half pounder. Just missed it. But we have a roach and a flounder now. We need to see if we can get our hands on a perch for the small species challenge. So what gets us closer to that? Oh, those blacks actually would have been enough. So to go ahead and fill up that crab. Make sure you watch your master angler cards. I have a tendency to forget them. And then we'll just put that over here as scored. So that's a victory point at the end of the game. And I'm going to 
I'm going to take this, uh, this green here, flip it over, and get rid of one from each zone, which just lets us get rid of one. All right, eight to eight, so two draws for Gilligan. The first is blue, and that's going to move this token to blue. That's our third blue, so he'll catch this sea trout here, which is a six-pounder. And the second is yellow. We'll refill that zone. Uh, yellow will move to the next available space, and that's the fifth. So that will be this salmon, 11 pounds. Doesn't actually doesn't have a salmon. So see our play. We're going to go ahead and get it. and getting casting that purple completes our dogfish. So we'll put that up there discard this bait and we're going to take blue and it gets our board pretty low so we're ready to catch some fish we'll refill this zone uh, we'll count up our fish Gilligan still has more so only one draw for him which is purple. That's going to move purple forward and catch the fish in zone four of the purple location. This flounder, two pounder, so that's going to get him this two point trophy. And let's let, let's group these together. I like to do that so I can count the number of species because that's seven for him. We'll refill this location and then we will see what we can do. Hey, there we go. So we'll go ahead and put ours on red. Cast our one red from zone five. Uh, that's clearing zone five gets us a tackle, which gives us a reel. And better yet, it gets us this perch. Let's get our new mystery weight up here. Ooh, six pounds. And a six pound perch. Look at there. So we take that into our score area. Um, and then that also gives us a perch, a roach, and a flounder which means we get the small species challenge token as well. So we'll refill that. Flip a new mystery weight, five pounds. We'll take the green here, cast the green off, um, which clears zone six. So now we can catch this Rassi or zone six's bonuses. You can catch the top, uh, the top fish of that stack. Um, we have a mackerel, so let's go ahead and catch this Rassi and see what happens. Eight pounder, and it's a red tag matching our tagged fish challenge, so that'll be an extra victory point at the end of the game. And move that in. And that is eight species, so we'll grab the fastest to eight species token. And that's going to make it Gilligan's turn. And he's got 11 fish, we only have 10, so he's going to get one draw from the bag of goodness. Let's give it a good shake here and hope for something lucky. And red. So red will move forward. And I guess that was lucky because that is our eighth red. So that's not going to be a catch for him. So that'll bring us back to our turn. And this is going to be one of those days where fishing just doesn't pay off. I can't put on red, so I'm going to have to put somewhere that doesn't get me any benefit. So we'll go ahead and place on green. And then I'm going to pull yellow. Um, which actually doesn't really do me any good there either. So actually I'm going to pull that one and fill up zone three. Not a bad draw there. Um, and that'll make it Gilligan's turn. He's still got more fish than we do. And another red. Nice draw. We'll move this token up to red. Still too many to catch anything. I think that's all nine of them out there now. Uh, so no more red's going to come up until the white shows up. 
um, which is going to give us an opportunity. So we're going to try to take it. And we'll use our two to remove all purple. Put that on our ray here. And then what do we want to pull? I suppose we're going to have to pull uh, this one here. And that'll cast our yellow. Uh, clearing zone four. So we'll go ahead and take this rainbow. Seven pounder. Uh, here with our growing collection of those. And that's going to make it Gilligan's turn. Let me quick count on the fish. I've got 11. And so does Gilligan. And he's going to draw the white, which is going to reset us. And it's going to go ahead and give him another point. And rather than give him another point at this late stage, I'm going to go ahead and put out the seven. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Take seven. Wow, a lot of purples came out. And then we'll put our white back in the bag. And we'll resume his turn. He does get two draws. Uh, the first of which is going to be blue. It's going to move this angler token onto blue. That'll be the third blue which will catch him this sea trout, not five pounds. I'll put that there, uh, which is also going to be his 12 fish. So he'll grab those two points and trigger the end of the game. He is going to get to finish his turn. So that draws a black, Looks that there. Only two blacks, so no catch. So now we need to see what we can do to give us the best advantage for this turn. Refill this zone here. I don't actually have a sea trout. So we're just going to have to waste our first action because there's nothing useful. Pull the blue so we can cast that and catch this sea trout here. And it is a three pounder. Uh, but that'll give us one to help us in the, uh, in the contests. So that finishes our turn. So I like to clear things up a little bit so that we've got uh, we've got room to do our calculating. Uh, I take any fish from the locations and just put them back in those stacks um, because they won't be needed anymore this game. So this just kind of gives us a little little cleanup area, a uh, little room to work, if you will. All right, uh, discard any uncompleted master angler fish. Those are out. We'll get rid of our bait here and we're going to start off by scoring the various um, contests so the first one we're going to do is the shore so we're going to take all of our green and purple fish and I'll put mine out here and group them together by species and then you can only submit to this contest one fish of each species so we've only got one mackerel and one rassy but we've got two flounders Typically, you're going to want the heaviest because that's what this is based on. But note our tag fish challenge is red, so you may make a different decision there. Doesn't apply here, so we'll go ahead and throw back or discard uh, any that we're not going to submit. So that's going to give us these three. And uh, now we will see what Gilligan's got for this. Move these out of the way. He has two, a flounder and a rassi, so that's going to give him six pounds. Um, I have 18, so I take the 5, and he takes the 3. Uh, neither one of these are red tags, so as a part of just cleaning up, I go ahead and get rid of those because they won't matter again. Um, and I only have one red tag, so I'll move it there and get rid of these. Uh, now we'll score the river. And... I do have a red tag there. And we'll lay out, let's see, salmon, a brown and a rainbow. Okay, so he's got one of each. And I'm going to go ahead and keep the red tag and throw back these two rainbows here, even though one of them's bigger. Um, and that's going to give me 21, 23 and a half uh, versus 27. So he's going to get the five pound. 
and I'm gonna get the three. And then this red tag is gonna stick around and these two will be discarded. Uh, no red tags here, so we'll just go ahead and get these out of our way. And now we'll score the lake. Um, all of mine are one of. And he's got three different sa uh, sea trout and the dummy player has to take the heaviest. He, he doesn't take the tag challenge into context, so we'll get rid of those. And he's got four uh, of these, so he'll keep the 17 pounder. It's gonna give Gilligan 23 on this challenge. And I've got 24. So narrowly, I'll pull out the lake challenge, get the five, gets the three, no red tags here. No red tags here. So now we'll just add up the trophies. So we'll start in here. Kind of organize these a bit so we can see them. And so it's going to be 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, and 22 points for Gilligan. And we've got 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 22, 21, sorry, math, 22, 24, and 26. So we have successfully defeated the silent player um, that we've affectionately named Gilligan for this game. That, folks, is how you solo play Cold Water Crown. Hope you've enjoyed it. For Roll to Hit Gaming, I'm Lucas. Have a great one.